Hello everybody, David here, and I have a new light-dependent resistor right there, or LDR for short. Now, in another video, I'll show you how to hook it up with a MOSFET or microcontroller, but for now, let's just look at its basic properties. Now, it's a resistor, so you can hook it up either way. If I reverse these two wires, it wouldn't change the reading much on there. You know, it fluctuates a little bit, but not because I changed the polarity. Now I have my multimeter on the uh, 100, 100 kilo ohm range. That's what the K stands for, sorry. And as you can see right now, with the lamp on, the resistor is reading about 3 kilo ohms, or 3,000 ohms. Now if I sort of put my hand over... You can see the resistance starts to increase. Now we're at 17,000 ohms, or 17 kilo ohms. And let's say I block light out completely by putting my finger right on it. Well, the resistance may go up to, hmm, I saw 70 kilo ohms for a second, but it doesn't seem to be staying there. It's more like 65, 66. Yeah, it's changing. Now, as you can see, or as you might be able to tell, the light-dependent resistors are not really consistent enough to get a lux reading, and you can't really match up the uh, the resistance over the resistance reading to the amount of light hitting the sensor or the resistor. So they're good for uh, letting you know whether the lights are on or off, but not really appropriate for uh, if you want to do a PID loop with uh, artificial lights to balance natural lights or anything uh, funny like that. Wait, oh, I just told you what I plan to do. Oh well. Okay. Well, I guess that's it for now then, uh, before I say too much, and I'll see you guys in the next one.